It's already been pointed out to me that I haven't tied my tie. <laughs> In the usual roundabout, passive-aggressive way. Yeah, you're tired. Yeah, you're tired. Yeah, you're tired. Yeah, I like your tie. Like, oh, I hadn't noticed. I know. <laughs> However, I thought I would welcome you tonight and show you the wonder that is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do not anticipate my nipples. <laughs> for they are not coming. I thought I would show you my lower neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited tonight. You know why? Because I am paid to be. <laughs> and... <laughs> I actually am excited tonight. A number of reasons. One, uh, it's the Ides of March, and I always enjoy the Ides of March. I like a good Ide. And... <laughs> Uh, it's the Ides of March, and B, I always do one and B. I never do one and two or A and B. I do A and, well, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, one and B, Martha Stewart is on the show. I, I hate when you do that TV audience. Tootsie fruits. It makes it feel so phony, and we all know this is real. Anyway, Martha Stewart's on the show, and I've always wanted to decorate something. <laughs> Use it, using crafts. <laughs> There's something I've always wanted to bedazzle, and tonight may be the night. <laughs> I want to take a bedazzle gun, and no matter what the pain... <laughs> I'm going to make the most wonderful little purse anyone's ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's really gross, isn't it? <laughs> but, to be fair, wouldn't it be awesome if you actually had that and it was like the first time and you were kind of, and you went, Whoa! <laughs> Are you in show business? <laughs> anyway, um, so, you know, it's an action-packed thrill ride tonight. <laughs> Join us after these commercials, or don't. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. See what's new on Applebee's 2 for 20 menu. Classics you love and new flavors you'll crave. Excited. I can't tell you how excited I am, everyone. This is the best audience we've ever had in the history of this show. <laughs> I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, come on, Craig, you're just saying that to them so they will back you on your mediocre material. Yes! <laughs> but it wouldn't be the first time I've done that. <laughs> Nor will it be the last. <laughs> Craig, why are you talking like a sort of perverted James Mason? <laughs> because that's kind of who I am, sister girl. <laughs> sister girl, yeah. 
Sister girl. Hey, what? I'll tell you. What then? I'll tell you, sister girl. <laughs> oh, it's gone. It's gone a bit. Uh, Silence of the Lambs again, hasn't it? It's gone a bit. Gone a... <laughs> Did you breastfeed, Senator? <laughs> Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It is a great day for the, a great day not just for America, but for the entire world, because a world institution celebrates its birthday uh, today. You know what I'm talking about. Today, the 15th of March, Fabio's birthday. Happy birthday, Fabio. Happy birthday, Fabio. Toughened your nipples, didn't it, Fabio? <laughs> Do we have a picture of Fabio celebrating his birthday? Here he is. See that picture again? What's, what's that in the window at the back? Give me a close up of that window. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Why did they have to take the picture then? Anyway, Fabio's birthday wishes is, of course, a restraining order against me. Now, today, not only Fabio's birthday, it's 15th of March, it's the Ides of March. This is when Julius Caesar was told, beware the Ides of March. Then Caesar was killed in Italy on the, on the, in the Ides of March, and Fabio was born in the Ides of March, so could it be? No. <laughs> Reincarnation's not possible. I look forward to your letters. Your Hindu, Hindu letters. I... Uh... Now, oh, come on, reincarnation doesn't work. It's a made-up concept. It's like uh, happiness or uh, <laughs> uh, the female orgasm. It's like one of those... It's a nice idea. It's a nice... Oh, yeah, we'd all like to see one. <laughs> I've kidding. I've seen one. I know exactly what they sound like. Judge Judy. <laughs> Anyways, the Ides of March is really just a fancy way of saying 15th of March. In the Roman calendar, Ides meant the 15th for some months and then the 13th for other months. Um, Roman calendar is very complicated. That's why I prefer mine, uh, the 1988 calendar. <laughs> I use the same calendar every year. I miss a lot of appointments. People get angry, but at least I have routine. <laughs> Anyway, the, what happened is a fortune teller told Julius Caesar, you know a fortune teller, like when you, you see the people you drive along and they've got the uh, psychic uh, thing, like come on in for a psychic reading, next to, it's usually next to a restaurant or something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think some of these people may be charlatans. <laughs> Craig, you're pushing the boat out tonight. You're going to get a lot of angry letters from Hindus and fortune tellers. Yeah, I knew the fortune tellers were going to write to me, though. <laughs> Anyway, the, <laughs> the fortune teller, uh, a fortune teller told Julius Caesar that he would fall into some harm on the Ides of March. Uh, so on the Ides of March, Caesar said, I'm still here. And the fortune teller said, yeah, it's not the end of the day yet. And, well, it was the Roman time, so it was probably an Italian accent. Said, hey, Julius, you're going to get a kick in the meatballs. And, and then I look forward to letters from Hindus. Uh, Italians and uh, Fabio. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Fortune tellers. I'd forgotten about them. <laughs> they must have used their secret power. <laughs> anyway, I don't understand. You know what I don't understand? When, when Romans, they do movies and they have people from the Roman Empire, it's always guys with British accents. <laughs> Which makes no sense. I think guys in Hollywood think, you know, it makes Romans sound sinister. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like Hannibal. It is like Hannibal Lecter. You know, they're like... Caesar, love your little salad. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its toga. It rubs the lotion on its toga or it gets the lion again. The hell am I talking about? Julius Caesar, yeah. Uh, after seeing his fortune teller, Julius Caesar walked into the Senate meeting and he did not walk out. He, he got killed, is what I'm saying. It, 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 would like be, it was a crazy thing for him to do, though. It would be like seeing Leno walking onto the set of Conan. 
<laughs> Which is technically what happened on The Tonight Show, really. <laughs> anyway, I am... Uh... Oh, come on, Craig, let it go. That was ages ago. Yeah, but it's either that or the Oscars. Take your pick. <laughs> Anyway, one of the uh, politicians, a taxi, the attack Caesar, was named uh, Marcus Junius Brutus, the younger. And most people know him by his shorter name, Jay Wow. And he... <laughs> no, he, his name was Brutus. And people think that Caesar's last words were, et tu, Brute, meaning, and you, Brutus. But that's only because William Shakespeare wrote the, the play, you know, Julius Caesar. He didn't really say that. He probably just said nothing except, ow. <laughs> stabbed 50 times, what are you going to say? Oh, hello, I didn't expect to see you here. What are you going to start? Yeah, of course you're going to say, well, ow, or something related to ow, like, ouch, I don't know. You're not going to say, oh, British, what a surprise. I was just being stabbed by my friends. Anyway, Shakespeare just made crap up. That's what I'm saying. He, he made it up and, yes, I look forward to your letters, scholars. See, uh, Shakespeare made stuff up and people started believing it was true. And Shakespeare was a kind of 16th century Fox News, if you will. <laughs> All right. Uh, listen, uh, we, have to, uh, we have to take a break. Apparently I did too much uh, serial killer humor. <laughs> Do you know when I, when I first started this job, they used to say, you're a little bit creepy. Uh, <laughs> so try and be less creepy. But I've been doing this show for a long time, and now I seem to have thrown myself full force into the creepy. <laughs> Shall we take a break? Jack? Commercials, like fun little movies. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Take that, CBS Orchestra. <laughs> what time is it, uh, Jeffrey Peterson? Papa Squat, take a seat, check the tweets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, do that. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And email. And email. All right, let's see what we got. I'm very excited to do the emails tonight on the Fabio birthday spectacular when we are celebrating Fabio's birthday the usual way by not really doing anything. <laughs> You have Fabio on the show first. Why don't we have Fabio on the show? Why, why have we never put Fabio on this show? You know why? Because you. <laughs> he wouldn't come on this show anyway. He's too busy doing other shows. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is from Elliot in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, I like Wichita. Wichita lineman, way down the... Elliot says, uh, hey, Craig, I'm in college and my roommate got mad at me for having your show on too loud late at night. Any advice on how I should respond? Tell her to... Tootsie Fruitsie. Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> We're CBS whores. <laughs> um, this is from Raina in Orchard Park in New York, who says... Uh, Dear, it smells really good in here. It smells really, really, it's Martha Stewart, isn't it? She's cooking, so she can't help herself. <laughs> it smells fantastic. I mean, this is, it's never smelled this good in here since uh, another time. <laughs> uh, this is from Raina in Orchard Park in New York, uh, who says, 
Uh, Craig, is your desk at home as neat as the one in the show, or have you more of a mess at home? It's, it's, this isn't a desk. <laughs> It's not a desk, it's a... It, what do you think I do? Sit around at home and go, Whoa, welcome back to my house, everybody. <laughs> I do do that. I do do that. <laughs> I sit in my basement and I welcome an imaginary audience. Oh, no, wait, wait, that's this show. <laughs> this is from Mike in Knoxville, Tennessee. He says, Dear Craig, I've been dating this girl for several months who's really afraid of the dark. Anytime she spends the night, I have to leave several lights on around. This is strange, right? This is lucky. <laughs> I'm a lights-on sex person. I like, to, I like to see what I'm getting, <laughs> getting to. <laughs> eh, come on, you know, if you don't... Do, anyway, oh, it's, this is from Rhonda in Augusta, Georgia, who says... Uh, Dear Craig, my grandson is graduating college on the other side of the country this spring and I've always been afraid of flying. I'm considering skipping the graduation altogether. Is this a bad idea? Yes, it is, Rhonda. You have to cross the country, but why not go in a stolen car? <laughs> Perhaps a crime spree on the way would help relieve the boredom. <laughs> CBS cares. Uh, this is from Rachel in Honolulu, Hawaii, uh, who says, uh, Hi, Craig, if you could switch bodies with any celebrity, who would it be and why? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fabio, obviously. I, I've always... What, 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 what? You have a picture of Fabio? Oh, let me see him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, celebrating his... We've got his birthday picture. Show me the picture of... Uh, the close-up picture of in the background. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, man, we spent the entire budget for the whole year on that. All right, this is from Melody in Pittsburgh, uh, who says, Hey, Craig, I was thinking of getting a new tattoo uh, with my sister. I have seven, she has four. What are your feelings about girls with tattoos? I'm all for it. <laughs> I know, I like a little, you know, I like the lower, you know, little, you know. <laughs> little tramp stamp down the back there. <laughs> I, uh, I once, I was talking to the guy that was doing the tattoo, I've uh, done a couple of my tattoos, and I said, oh, it must, you must get to do his tattoos and uh, ladies and, you know, right down uh, the uh, tramp stamp area. And he said, yes, I've done a lot of that. And he said, one time out of 50, it's fun. <laughs> The rest of the time, it's, oh, man. I thought that was rather gentlemanly of him. This is from Jared in Sydney, Australia, who says, uh, Dear Craig, I say American women are more adventurous in the bedroom than Australian women. What's your experience been? You, my friend, are an idiot. <laughs> that, or in the past 15 or 16 years, the women of Australia have completely changed. <laughs> Which I somehow doubt. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just remembering Australia for a minute. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right, this is from Jim in Riverside in Iowa, who says, uh, Dear Craig, my son is almost 13 and he still talks to his imaginary friends. It was cute when he was younger, but now I'm concerned. How do I approach this subject? Ask him if he wants to host the Crikey. late night show. <laughs> what, do, what do you think I do? You know, stop harshing on your kid, man. The kid's 13, he wants to talk to his imaginary friend. Let him talk to his imaginary friend. He's using, uh, at least he's doing something interesting. At least he's not sitting around talking to a -la -la robot skeleton. I love myth. <laughs> Only difference between me and your son is that he's got an excuse. <laughs> I wondered what I, it happened if I just kind of like stopped and looked around and <laughs> you guys had to go to the commercial break all on your own. You'd be like, but we're scared to go to the commercial break on our own. You'll be fine. It's time for you to head off to the commercial break on your own. Craig, please, why, why would you take us to the commercial? I can't. I'm not your father. Actually, I am. Well, only two of you.
and maybe one in Australia. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Fabio birthday spectacular where tonight my first guest is an Emmy winning TV host so it's not me <laughs> she's celebrating the thousandth episode of the Martha Stewart show April the 20th on the Hallmark Channel <laughs> <laughs> damn there goes the uh oh Emmy again <laughs> please welcome the broadcasting legend that is the wonderful Martha Stewart everybody You know, Martha, I'm very my... pleased to say that you... What? No, this is my first time here. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I've never I've met you before. I've never met this man before. No, and is... I, I've never met you, and I'm delighted you smell exactly as, as I'd hoped. Thank you. <laughs> you do, you smell you lovely. You have a preconceived notion of what I smell like. I, I'd thought about you a lot over the years. <laughs> That's a little creepy, isn't it? Hey, uh, do you, uh, do you... Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's a Freudian thing. I've got a small penis. Um... <laughs> I don't need all that information. Well, I just... Uh, I just on, our, I, I, on our first engagement. Well, I'm here. just trying to put you at your ease okay. so you understand I've got nothing to worry about here. This man is clearly not a threat to me. Okay. <laughs> Did you, uh, do you, um... You live on the East Coast. That's why you've never I been I live here. in New York. I came out today just to be on your show. Did you, do you live in a farm? I always I thought you lived a, in a farm. I live on an a idyllic farm. An idyllic farm? Yes. Oh, really? It has beautiful animals and... Uh, beautiful landscape. Do you eat the Beautiful animals? gardens. <laughs> Sometimes. Do you? Do you have chickens? I have chickens. Do you do you eat their eggs? I eat their eggs. You're going to eat some of their eggs in a little you while. Gonna, do you brought the eggs? I brought them for you. Oh, I, I like an egg. I brought it for yeah, you. Yeah, no, I um I I like eggs. Do you have um do you have any donkeys? I have three Sicilian donkeys. Do you eat the donkeys? No. Okay. No. <laughs> have you ever eaten a donkey? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> but you know. I don't know. What what would you not eat? Um, I will not eat brains of any animal. Really? Why? I just, just I, you know, some people like you know, it's creepy, like a snake. No. <laughs> um, you I, know that's a very telling thing you just did there. I said it was a penis substitute, and you pushed it away. That's kind of a rejection. Sub right? <laughs> no, substitute substitutes are not as good as the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Where is he? Yeah, Where he's is over that there. Guy? Yeah, oh. he's, he's never too far from an outlet. I met a little gold man on my way here. Oh yes, the Oscar. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's probably him at the door now. Oh, you see? Oh, You know, after I watched the Academy Awards this year, and I thought, how could I make the Academy Awards more entertaining? And then I thought, well, pretty easily. I, that right there is... There was a little donkey back there. No, no, it's a horse's secretariat. Oh, that's secretary. Oh, yeah, watch this. <laughs> Who said at the door? <laughs> Like, it's that doesn't look like secretariat. Oh, no, it's a different secretariat. Yes. That's the kind of... All right, that's enough. Um, that's the kind of little farm that I have back there. I, I've got my little Oscar and my secretariat, and sometimes I eat eggs. <laughs> now, what do, you, uh, what, do you, what do you do between Halloween and Christmas? Halloween and Christmas? Yeah, because I always think of you, you have to do Halloween and you do all that and you've got Christmas and you do all that. You but... forgot Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, Thanksgiving. That's the yeah. main one, isn't and it? Then, yeah. And then usually there's Hanukkah in there, too. You do Hanukkah as well? Of course. Oh, right. Yes, do, you do, do you do all holidays, all Every denominations? Every single holiday, and that's part, you know, that's, that's what we're really known for is holidays. Do you, do you ever think, be honest, do you ever think when, you know, when a holiday comes up, oh, I got a mess? <laughs> 
You never think that? Never. I do I do Christmas probably maybe six times a year because we have to start photograph we've already photographed for next Christmas. Right. So and while there's snow you have to remember to take a picture in the snow, you know, a story. You have to do stories. And then we do um, at least six times. Christmas is about a six time holiday. Yeah, oh my and I still have my Christmas party. I'll invite you next year. Do you You'll, you'll like it. It's really? very nice. Very does, nice. Does Puff Open Daddy house. go? Um, no, he hasn't come yet. But I, I want to go when Puff we, Daddy Richard goes. Richard Gere came this year. He Richard had a great Gere. time. Yeah, he didn't even want to leave. Yeah. yeah. He had the greatest time. You and Richard and, Gere get along? Well, he lives around the corner, you know. He lives, yeah. he lives yeah. next year? No, Do you no know not anything next. about that Gere. thing? On the, never mind. Um, <laughs> Don't bring that no, up. Well, it's it's old I was gonna, news. Yeah. I mean, come it's, on. It's not news, though. No, it's just old a rumor. story crap. Yeah. Okay, we well, don't have to go through. Uh, Richard's very nice. I'm sure he is. And uh, I've never met him. <laughs> I enjoyed the Knights in Rodanthe, though. Did oh. you like that? Oh, yes. the ladies like him, don't they? Yes, Richard very Gere. much. Very yeah. much. Do you like a romantic epic like that? Oh, then? yes. No, I didn't like that movie so much. No, nah, it was crap. <laughs> I mean, I like Richard Gere, but that wasn't his best movie, let's be honest. No. 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 What do you watch then when you're watching a movie? Oh, um, well, I, I go to every movie. Do you really? Do yeah. you actually go to the cinema? Uh, I go to the cinema. We have about, you know, four cinemas in my neighborhood. Not very. Not oh, well, you very... live in the New York City part. No, no. About. This is in Bedford. I live on my farm. I, live, yeah, I, go, I go to the farm every night if really? I can, yes. You travel in and out in New York City? Yeah, it only takes 45 minutes. Do you have a helicopter? No, a car. <laughs> You're not allowed to land helicopters in Bedford. Oh, you know, that's, one of, see, I could one of those hoity-toity uh, communities. They don't allow noise. Really? No. Do they uh, allow Scottish people in a non-custodial... <laughs> You might be allowed in. Wow. You might. Do you ever go sailing? Oh, yes. Nah, I, see, I, I like to go sailing. Yeah, I, sailing I like the East fun. Coast for that. There's yeah, nice Maine. I have a house in Maine. Really? I right like Right on Maine. the coast. And that's, sailing is the big sport there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not really a sport, though. I mean, oh, you race. Oh, sure it is. Oh, yeah, racing. I know. I don't, yeah. I don't race. I don't want to get anywhere. If I wanted to get anywhere fast, I wouldn't go on a sailboat. <laughs> no, but it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, I guess. St. Bart's is fun racing. Sailing? But I don't have the kind of money you have, Martha. I can't go to St. Bart's. I'm lucky if I can get to Burbank, for God's sake. <laughs> There's a lot of sailing up, like, around Seattle. You can go up there. No, it's too rainy. It's like you Scotland. You can take the train and get up there. Ever been to Scotland? <laughs> oh, yes. Have I went, you? I went to Scotland for grouse season, opening of grouse season. Oh, Do you know good. what that is? Yeah, I think so. It's you when... to shoot birds? Yeah, well, I don't shoot them. I go out and... Well, I faked it. I faked it. I had to wear, you have to wear kilts, and you have to wear... I wore my Stuart Tartan. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Stuart's a Scottish name, of course. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. It's really it was Silberberg turned into Stuart. Right. That was the married name. Oh, mm -hmm. right. So you're Scottish by <laughs> sex. <laughs> that's why. <fine. laughs> By marriage. Yeah, by marriage. That's, that's nice. But um, here, did you try haggis when you were in Scotland? Uh, they served haggis. I don't like that very much, but mm. it, it was all right. You know, cooked in the bladder kind of thing. Yeah, that's what it is. It's yeah. the uh, intestines of a sheep cooked in this sheep's stomach lining. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was very nice. Scotland is beautiful. It and, is. And the it moors. Is. Right. Oh, we had to tromp across the moors and in those peat bogs and. Uh, that's where you shoot the birds. Yes, yeah, see, that's a very kind of rich person thing to do is to go it shoot the birds. It is not. There are all kinds of people shooting birds in Scotland. <laughs> they told, and maybe they guys, just told me the, that so I would And the guys get... that were, were pushing us through the through the peat bogs, they weren't rich. No, they're hired to do it, Martha. It's, I know. It's, it's not, they don't go out and push you through the peat bogs because they just, they're crazy rich people that want to hang out with you. They're being but paid. You, but you said only the rich people do that. Well, yeah, only the rich people do it for fun. And then... And the poor people have to go there and chase the birds. Go, birds, get out. Let the rich people shoot you. And then when you shoot your first bird, they pick it up and they put the blood on your cheek like, you know, that Mel Gibson movie, you know, where they were trumping yeah, through the Yeah, bog. yeah, yeah. I didn't like that No, either. I've never heard of that, Martha. I think, you didn't? No, I think someone is yanking your chain. <laughs> They have to mark you. They say. Yeah. No. Well. Okay. I. I'd like to go and try. But I don't. I don't You're approve. You're missing of... out on all that stuff. Well, I can't do that. I can't shoot birds. I love well, all no, animals. You faked it. I, I faked it. I yeah. Yeah. No, I... I made believe I shot them. Well, how did they get the blood on your face? Then? No. No. I, the one fell down because somebody else shot it. Oh. And they picked it up. I said, "That's mine." And they picked it up. <laughs> and then I just shot, you know, randomly here and there because I don't like shooting things either. You can. Is it, can you cook things that you shoot like that? You can. You, you eat that at night. That's that night you eat your grouse. Well, don't you? Is that code for something? <laughs> grouse. 
grouse is a bird, I think. It's like a partridge. It is like a partridge. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice yeah. fat little bird. Yeah, I like a fat little bird. <laughs> <laughs> I like but you, that, I tell you, I do, I like you. That's nice. Hey, uh, we have to take a commercial break. Uh, really? Yeah, Why? it's CBS, it's a kind oh. of rule they have. Um, but then uh, we hang around and then we'll do some Yeah, more. I thought I would teach you how to make an omelet. Because Maybe, uh, it's late and everybody, you know, aren't you hungry after this show? Yes. So, I'm hungry right now, I want to eat an omelet. So, and I brought my eggs. Okay. From your own farm? Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Okay. Join us in a moment when I'll get to see Martha's eggs. <laughs> Why don't you catch a chicken for me? How about that little white one? I want to catch this one. Yes, just grab. Oh, you did it. You did it. Look, I Aww. caught the one wearing a lady's wig. Yes, that's a little Polish. Isn't it's that a nice? It's a Polish chicken. Oh, you just said that because I caught it. you're not even afraid. Oh, I could only catch a Polish chicken. <laughs> Testing it? Yeah, I'm just testing it. Uh, all right. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Martha Stewart. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting you, Martha. We're going to make an omelet, right? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, here, oh. You have to break the eggs first. Can't make an omelet without breaking eggs, Martha. Yeah, so break all the right. eggs and we all want... All right. Are these from your farm? They are indeed. From your donkeys? Uh, no! Donkey egg no. omelet, everybody. Now yes. I brought you that one. Ooh, I like that that's, one. Look at that. That's yeah. a French egg. A French egg? Yeah. That comes Is that code the, for something? The, that comes from... Nothing's a code. I, I talk straight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So now, whisk it up. Well, only three eggs? No, I did four. All right, okay, I'll put another one in there. And you just lightly whisk. You don't want too much froth. No, I'm just going to put another egg in, Okay, right? make no. five eggs. These are big pans. Now, you can add um, six eggs. Six eggs. So add a little clarified butter. You know what clarified butter is? Yes, it's butter that's seen the light. That's right. right. Okay, yours is hot. Ooh, Ooh that's too hot. Oh, my butter's getting toasted. <laughs> that's cold. No, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to burn the egg and burn don't, the butter. No, you don't. That, that okay, be so here, mix that. Mix right. up your eggs. All right. Okay. Hold on. I'll use this. Do so, you do you put? Uh, you know my my secret for omelets? No. Eggs. <laughs> It's a good idea to have eggs. Right, okay. okay. Do we, what about milk? Do you put milk in an omelet? Uh, I never put milk in an omelet. See, no, I've never heard of this. What, no milk? Yes, you've got to put oh, milk in an omelet. Scotland, you know, that's not high haute cuisine. Oh, isn't it? Okay. No, this is French. French do not put um, milk in their omelets. You can put a little bit of salt and pepper in your eggs. All right, eggs. then. Voila. Okay, so I think this is hot. Now, Ta you can take a little. See, now, see, cooking nicely. All right. So that it's hot. And the clarified butter is very important because uh, you don't want the eggs to burn. All right, you don't do, want can brown. I put mine in now then? Yes, oh, I would, I would. All right then. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, look and at that then. sucker. Whee! <laughs> Say nice. Okay, put down, 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 down. I was doing doing that. Down, down. I think down. I'm making scrambled Take eggs. Take your rubber scraper. My rubber scraper and, here? And then and, right. and push, push the egg toward the center, moving the pan all the time. Right, okay. Because you do not want your eggs to stick. No, that would be okay. awful. This is, this is a weirdo pan. Yeah, no, this is CBS. Not a pan. Are no, they the yours? Pan, the, yeah, these pans are mine. They're not, the, it's the weirdo stove. Oh, okay. But it's okay. Just keep them fluffy. See how nice and fluffy? Oh, I know. Look at it. It's you, like a rabbit. What do you want in your What do you want in your uh, omelet? I want everything. I'm going to have a so. good, like yeah. I'll, okay, I I'll wouldn't have onions because I love onions, Martha. But do? onions don't love me. Oh, okay. I don't like I don't like onions in my omelet. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a two cheese omelet with some tomatoes. Tomatoes. There you go. I'm using herbs here. Now, okay. this, these herbs, are these, uh, is this marijuana? Yes. You can use chopped up marijuana. Yeah, you can you use can marijuana, cannabis, any kind of herb. Cannabis, I love you call it. meth. Yeah, well, I don't think meth cooks very, oh, where are you? I don't think it's, uh, yeah. A little spinach. Spinach. There. I'm making okay, mine quite, it's this actually is quite You have to keep moving good. your pan. Oh, right, yeah, I'm moving my brown, pan, I'm moving my pan. We're going to have a brown omelet. Uh-oh, this is a brown omelet, which is not my favorite. Uh, all right. Okay. Mine is, mine isn't brown, Martha. Mine's is still lemony fresh. There. Uh, look, look how pretty. That is nice. Yeah, so you have a beautiful omelet. It's okay if it gets a little toasty. Right. Uh, okay, I here. don't have a plate. Yes, you oh, do. yeah, no, it's there. Oh, you messed it up. Oh. Here, look. Spice that up with a pop tart. Oh, no, 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 no. No, pop tarts oh, are awesome. No, no, pop over. Pop over. No, yeah, here. this is the... Pop I do. over. Here. Well, what's this? 
this? A pop over. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Well, I don't, but I know, but here, you have to. All right. You have to keep moving your eggs around. All right, here. Okay, you're almost good. You're almost good. Not not bad for a first try. All right, there you go. I think, I think you know how to make an omelet. Oh, you're just yes, messing I up. do. I, listen, I know my way around your eggs, Martha. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'll make you forget that bird you shot in Scotland. There. All right, you ready? Yep, put that, it on your plate. Roll it out. What, roll it like this? Roll it out, yep. All right, move it out of the way. Like this? A little bit goes out first, then roll it over the top. Well, it's stuck in the, the well, edge that's, there. That's because you didn't move the pan enough. I told you to move the pan. I was making scrambled eggs anyway. Well, no, but you don't want to scramble. Now, now flip it over. Yeah, like that. Uh -uh. Pretty good. So now here's a here's a little salt and pepper. Here, give me your, give me your fork. All right, yeah. Here's your fork. All right. You have to taste your egg. All right, then. Can I? Can Would you rather eat mine? Yeah, I'd like yours. Huh? Mm -hmm. no, you can't have it. Why not? Come on. Nope, you have yours. All right, then. Do you want some bacon? No, no, no. Why not? Don't you eat bacon? How long have you been in Al Qaeda? Mm. <laughs> what do you think? I can't have made this. This is delicious. It's the eggs. Those fabulous organic eggs from my farm. It's actually really good. Yeah. Do I try a Pop-Tart? No. Nope. <laughs> Just try a Pop-Tart. I've try never it. had a Pop-Tart in my life. Well, Hannah, how do you know that you don't I, like them? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I never even saw one. Actually, I, that's the first time I've seen that pink kind. Well, how do you know you don't like it if you never t well, tried it? because it looks horrible. Well, <laughs> sometimes things don't look attractive, and then you put them in your mouth, and they're actually all right. Children of America. You know what? Do you have kids? Yeah, you have yeah, kids. Yeah, I do have two. You yeah. have a brand new baby. You're not yeah. going to feed your baby Pop-Tarts. No. No. No, I'm not. He, well, he's, you know, he's only a month old. Feed the baby. Feed the baby I fresh eggs. I tried feeding eggs. him a Pop-Tart. He won't touch it. <laughs> what, even look at it, he just kind of goes... Ah, ah, ah. This is it's good. really good. So yeah. you can eat the whole thing. And it's, a, and it's very good for late night. You know what's... Early actually, morning. Us um, eating this, like right now? Yeah. Like this is us eating together, it's like a first date. Mm. Well, I'll be back. I, I come to California every now and then. All right, so like on a second date, do you put out or is it third date? <laughs> depends. Like, it depends. Depends on what? Yeah, on, on things. Mm. Egg things? <laughs> <laughs> This is actually really good. Do you eat like this all the time, like seriously? All the time. God, and you're great. The best uh, oh, oh I, I forgot to give you my favorite thing, too. Well, Here, green juice. Green juice? Yeah. I'm in. This you will love. Oh, uh, really? What's in it? I drink this every morning. It's from made from spinach and celery and oh, ginger. Great. Everything from the garden. Really? They're from the Are garden. Are you sure this is going to be all right? Taste, just taste it. All right, Cheers. Right, Very good for all of you. Mmm. Just what, just, good, right? Just what, watch what happens to you tonight. <laughs> Better than anything else, right? Didn't like it, no, I didn't care for it. It's pretty but, good, right? Oh man, I feel very fit and horny after that. <laughs> Say goodbye. See you next time. All right then. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. We're done. Is yours really? good? Can I taste yours? I only tasted mine. Oh, holy crap. Better than yours? Oh my god. That, that's like mine is like leather compared to that. Now how did that happen? Because it's got the same stuff in it. Mm -mm. Well, you're Martha Stewart, I suppose. That's right. Yeah. All right. And you're not. And not yet. Uh, or really ever. But everybody, everybody wants a cooking show. You could you have a cooking show if you'd ne neaten up a little bit. I, I can't neaten up. I can't be tamed, Martha. <laughs> Bad boy. Yeah, right. uh, anyway, we, oh, we got to go, Jeff. though, Martha. Okay. Martha Stewart, everybody. Thank you. Thank very you. Much.
If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. 